Hello and welcome to this answer video. This answer video will talk you through the answers for the worksheet subtracting money. It'll also talk you through some of the trickier bits involved in this skill as well. So let's look at question one and it says match each of these number lines to one of the subtractions uh, A, B, C or D. So looking at the blue one first, we can see three pound is at the right hand side. So we're taking away from three pounds and looking at your subtractions we only have b or c with three pounds something's been taken away from three pounds it can only be b or c now we first have taken away 40p at the top which gets us to two pounds 60 then we need to get to two pounds 45 so two pound take away two pound is nothing then 60p take away 45, the difference between 45 and 60 is 15 pence. So we've taken away 15 there. So 40 add 15 is 55 pence. So three pounds take away 55 pence and that's B. Three pounds, 55. Three pounds take away 55 pence, gets you to two pounds add 45 pence. Let's have a look at this second number line here. Remember you can count on or count back using this number line. I'm just counting back here. So we need to find the missing one here. And we know it's not B because B is that one above. So we start with six pounds. And we're taking away from six pounds. So that means it's either A or D. So we're starting with six and we get to five pounds 30, and that's because we've taken away 70p there. So six pounds take 70 pence, gets us to five pounds and 30 pence. And then taking away 10 pence, gets you to five pounds and 20 pence. Then you need to add up your jumps, 70 pence, add the 10 pence, gets 80 pence. So it's six pounds take 80 pence, and that is D. Six pounds take away 80 pence is five pounds and 20 pence. So looking at question two, we need to find out which child has dropped the money, Owen, Eve, or Paddy. First thing we need to do is add up those coins. So we have a 20 pence, add a pound, add five pence, add 50 pence, add 20 pence, and add a 10 pence. Start with the biggest, that's a pound, one pound at the 50, you can even cross them off. One pound 50, then add the 20, one pound 70, add that 20, one pound 90. Add the 10 is two pounds, then add the 5p is two pounds and five pence. Two pounds and five pence. So that's what's been found on the road, two pounds and five p. Let's have a look then how much each child has left. And then if we found out the difference is two pounds and five pence, that will be the child that's lost that much money on the road. So Owen, he had six pounds and 35 pence. And now he only has three pounds and 85 pence. So again, you can use your number line to count up or count back, but I'm going to do it the taking away the pounds way first. And then if we need to exchange pounds for a pence, we can do. So six take away three pounds leaves us with three pounds. Then 35 pence take 85 pence. I can't do. So I need to swap or exchange one of my pounds left. That leaves me with two. And then that pound turns into a hundred pence. So then I can have 135 take away 85 and 135 take away 85 is 50p. So then I have two pounds and 50p left over and we're looking for two pounds and five. So it can't be Owen. Let's have a look at Eve. She started with seven pounds and 75 pence and she ended up with five pounds and 60 pence. 
So take away the pounds first, seven take five is two pounds, 75p take away 60p, the difference there is 15p. So two pounds and 15 pence. We're looking for two pounds and five. So it can't be Eve. Let's have a look at Paddy. He started the day with five pounds and 20 pence. And now he has only three pounds and 15 pence. So take away the pounds first, five take away three, that leaves him with two pounds. And then 20 take away 15, that leaves him with five pence. So Paddy has two pounds and five pence left. So it must be Paddy's money on the road. Question three then, Rosanna and Larry are discussing the subtraction here. Eight pounds and 35 pence, take away four pounds and 70 pence. Who is correct, Rosanna or Larry? So Rosanna thinks 35p take away 70p needs an exchange. And she thinks the answer is three pounds and 65 pence. Whereas Larry thinks it's four pounds and 35 pence. Let's have a look. So eight pounds take away four pounds. Take away your pounds first. That's four pounds. Then 35p take away 70p. We can't do that because 70p is more than 35p. So I can ex exchange or swap one of those pounds. So now I have three and put it in front of my 35p. So now I have 135 pence, take away 70 pence. And that is 65 pence. So it will be three pounds and 65p, which means Rosanna is correct. An exchange was needed because we couldn't take away 35p, take away 70p, because 70 was more than 35. So that was an answer video on subtracting money, and I hope you found it useful. Remember, you can watch the video tutorial linked to this skill over on kids.classroomsecrets.co.uk, or you can practice this skill with loads more resources over on classroomsecrets.co.uk.